We start this trip to Southern Florida just like every other. With a family barbecue. We arrive on the island early the next morning. Our complimentary bikes are waiting for us and we are hungry. The nearest restaurant to us is the Tipsy Turtle. Never been there? Gonna try it out. We kept it light since this was technically breakfast, but we couldn't help ourselves but try something deep fried. We had the Tipsy Sampler Platter. Fried shrimp, hush puppies, jalapeno poppers, conch fritters, and mozzarella sticks. A plus for a deep fried breakfast. For lunch, we head to the Island Cow. You'll have a little bit of a longer wait time here no matter what time you go because it's so popular with locals and tourists. They also have the most extensive menu of any other place I've been to on the island so far, and we had to send our server away two or three times before we'd finally finish looking through all of it. The sheer number of options they offer is truly a beautiful thing to behold. I tried googling this menu for the sake of making this video, and even online it's completely overwhelming. by far a 10 out of 10. Right? I love it. Hey, let's go, let's go. For dinner, we biked to Mazzaluna, authentic Italian dining. Everything here is made in-house, and while the stuffed mushrooms and shrimp scampi were incredible, unfortunately, by the time this video is posted, Mazzaluna is no longer. It's been completely replaced by a new restaurant, which we have not tried yet. But Mazzaluna deserved a shout-out. They were amazing, they worked hard, and the food was incredible. With no room left in us but for dessert, we head to Doc Ford's. We do hope to go back and try the actual menu, but the sweets were decadent. The next day we decided to chill out and just spend the entire day on the beach. Lucky for us, Island Pizza Company delivers anywhere you are locally even if your address is just a spot on the sand. We were able to meet up with the delivery driver on a dead-end road, and they included extra napkins without us even having to ask. Have a good day, okay? no one Thanks, care. man! Oh, dude, thank you.
10 out of 10 will beach and pizza again. The next day we stop at Blue Giraffe. I honestly didn't even know it was there. It's tucked away in a shopping square, but we just happened to be window shopping and there was a cafe. Known locally for their fried grouper tacos, And now I know why. Fish tacos? <laughs> oh my god. There's this creamy avocado sauce on it. Comes with black beans. Oh man. I'm sorry, I'm worried I have food on my face. This is insanely good. Just a little. This is the crunchy grouper taco at Blue Giraffe. Damn, that's good. Josh had the Royale cheeseburger, so at least it was a little breakfasty. Do it. Oh my god. In keeping with the tradition we started, I give it a 10 out of 10. For dinner, we head toward the bayou, Mudbug's Cajun Kitchen right off of Periwinkle on the main drag. As soon as we walked in, we could tell this place was going to be one of our favorites. From the housecrafted drinks to the music and atmosphere, all the way to the best jambalaya you've ever had. Mudbugs Cajun Cuisine, 12 out of 10. The next day is a beach day, so we stop off at Huckster's, my favorite place on the island for an afternoon snack or any supplies you might have forgotten back home. With a full boar's head deli and prompt service, these subs are by far and away the best value on the island. Eat half now and throw the other half in your cooler. Hmm. For dinner, we venture to 400 Rabbits, a place with a funny name, but a vibe that'll beckon you right in off the road. Their salsas are made fresh in-house, and there was something delicious about the red one that I couldn't quite place. A smokiness that honestly I'd never had before. The next day we stop in off the beach at Santiva General Store. A local had told us there was an ice cream counter, and I was determined to find something lactose free. Turns out they had a strawberry sorbet that was out of this world. Not only that, but it looked like you could get just about anything you needed there. We'll definitely be visiting again. It is our final morning on the island and we've saved the best for last. Lighthouse Cafe, touted for having the best breakfast, not in the state or the country, but the whole world. 
this we had to check out. I asked them to serve me their most popular dish without even telling me what it was. The lighthouse omelet? Oh my god. Did you want the hollandaise on the side? No, I'm not a fan of it, but I've heard okay. that it's good here. Turkey breast, broccoli, cheese, and mushrooms all wrapped up in a fluffy egg jacket. I'm not sure what I liked better though, that or Josh's French toast. Lighthouse Cafe? Okay, I believe you. That was the best breakfast I've ever had. 12 out of 10. We've reached the end of this trip and it's time to send it out the same way we brought it in. Family cookout. Thanks for watching, y'all. And thank you to those of you who support local businesses.